there, and the contestant who picks it first could win a prize package worth over $3,500. Which star is it? Paul Williams. Chris Eklund. Doc Severinsen. Glenn Ford. Milton Burl. Phyllis Diller. <laughs> Carl Reiner. Julie Harris. Or Paul Lind, all in the Hollywood Squares. And here is the master of the Hollywood Squares, Peter Marks. Well, thank you, Kendall, and a good, good evening. Welcome to the Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars. Hello, Hello Peter. Peter. We are welcoming a beautiful young Miss Circle for the evening, Alison Reynolds, if you would, please, ladies and gentlemen. Alison Reynolds. A magazine stylist married to a dental student. Good luck. Yes, all right. And now we have C.J. Kelly of Trenton, New Jersey. Hi, C.J., nice to see you. Welcome to the show. You live here in Southern California now, right? Yes, I do, in Escondido. Aha, a retired fire captain, married, father of two, grandfather of two. Wow, his hobbies include golf, spending money, and kissing. Oh, you silly twerp. All women are beautiful. <laughs> yeah. We have a commercial, then we'll play the Hollywood Squares. We're going to have some fun. Okay, thank you. This is to get three stars in a row, either across or but out of diagonally. It is up to them to figure out if the stars give you a correct answer, make you one up. That's how they get the squares. Each completed game is worth $250. In addition, the first three games we play for secret squares. And circle starts the first secret square for a Canadian vacation. We'll jet you from Los Angeles via Air Canada, which flies more people to more places in Canada from the United States than any other airline. If you're going to Canada, fly the airline that knows Canada best, Air Canada. And you'll stay at the elegant Chateau Champlain. Luxurious accommodations, fine French cuisine at these great French restaurants, Le Tombe Rouge, Les Capades, and Le Cap Conque Supper Club with its stage review, all furnished by Le Chateau Champlain. And now, here is lovely Brit Eklund. With that in look for the fun fur, natural Canadian link sides and leather in this jacket furnished by Dicker and Dicker of Beverly Hills. Thank you, lovely Brit. Also, Varela Sportswear presents a gentleman's leisure suit, hand-tailored from the finest fabric, styled for a custom fit, 32 colors to choose from, furnished by Varela Sportswear, plus martinizing professional quality dry cleaning. Trust all your dry cleaning needs to your neighborhood martinizing store. And Ventura's collection luggage in the soft manner with digital locks and scrubbable Dora vinyl coverings, furnished by Ventura. The whole money is to seek the square, the stars are brief, to help them with the bluffs. But as always, they are hearing the actual questions for the first time. And uh, who won the toss backstage? Allison, a good start yep. for you. Good luck, dear. Julie Harris. All righty. And beautiful purple this evening. You look lovely. <laughs> Julie, which of your senses is the tactile or tactile sense? It's touch. I agree. Right. With a circle. I would like Britt Eklund, please. Britt is here with her daughters in the audience. Victoria is gorgeous, and she's in the audience Thank you. this evening. <laughs> Britt. Did the Leaning Tower of Pisa ever stand erect? No. I misunderstood. It has stood erect. So whatever it is, I... Well, let me try it again. Did the Leaning Tower of Pisa ever stand erect? Britt said, no, it never did. I, I disagree. No, it never did. The foundation began to sink even before the tower was completed. It went... <laughs> and we have another circle. Allison, secret square. Uh, Paul End. All righty. Paul, President Johnson had a personal butler in the White House. So did Presidents Kennedy and Nixon. Does Gerald Ford also have a butler? Yes, he doubles as Secretary of Agriculture. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Mr. Butts. <laughs> but does the Gerald Ford have a butler, President Ford? He's in such good shape, he probably serves himself. Uh, we've always heard what good... Sh uh, a butler. I, uh, I just don't get that image with him. I don't think he, he has said no. a butler. I agree. He decided it was a needless luxury. No, good for you, President Ford. Put a circle there. C.J. Glenn Ford, please. Glenn, according to studies in Atlanta, has the public use of profanity by women really increased, really, or does it just seem that way? Um, oh, dear. That's a terrible question. Um... That women swear more than men now? No, do they, has their uh, uh, vulgarity or profanity rather increased, not more than men? Just has it increased do, recently? Yeah, yeah. With all the lib and their freedom, has their uh, profanity increased? That's the question. Yes. I said yes. I agree. A great deal, in fact. Yes. Well, the next, you're on the board. Allison, your turn. Phyllis Diller. 
Not the secret square, but 250 bucks here, Phyllis. You look lovely this evening. <laughs> Is that a new hairdo? No. Mm. No, I just went to my straw boss, and he did it. I see. Yes. <laughs> according to studies, <laughs> according to studies conducted by a group of sociologists, who is a better marriage risk? A better marriage risk, a divorced man or a divorced woman? Well, it's always a risk. I mean, any time, it's, it's, it's a risk. Which is a better risk, the man or the woman divorced? Mm, divorced. A divorced yeah. man or divorced woman? I would say, and I don't dare speak from experience, <laughs> A divorced man. Man. I agree. Nope. Divorced okay. woman. Put an X there. CJ, secret square game. From Milton. Uh, Milton Burrow. Milton All right. Burrow. Milton, according to a famous song, in what state do the cotton and the corn and the taters grow? Uh, what's the difference? We send it all to Russia anyway. <laughs> uh, let me see. What song? Uh, yeah, what state does oh. the cotton of the corn of the potatoes grow? Well, I know the song is Old Man River, <laughs> but I don't... Just stay. Old Man River, Old Man River, Old Man River, Old Man River, Old Man Newark. Newark. No, now, come on. That's not a state, that's a town. No, Obviously, no, Obviously, Milton no, doesn't have a bluff for no, this. Would you like I, this? I, I, no, I'm kidding. Mississippi. Mississippi. I agree with that. No, no it's carrying me back to old Virginia, Virginia. first of all. It's not Old Man River. Uh, put a circle there. It's all right, Allison. Uh, Paul Williams. <laughs> and that's the secret square. Here we go. Mr. Williams, here we go. This is worth $3,500. Everybody listen carefully. $3,500 and a chance for Allison and I to finally take that nap together. That's right. There you go. In the Bible. In the Bible, Genesis is the first book of the Old Testament. What's the second book? Leviticus, Exodus, or Ezra? Um, Exodus is the second book, I believe. I disagree. Oh, sure. Genesis, Exodus, Exodus Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Yeah. Uh, we put an X there, and uh, it is your God turn, CJ. You. But first of all, we must pause for a commercial to pay for all this nonsense. Very good. We'll be right back. Mr. Kelly? Doc Severson, please. Doctor, according to the famous saying... When the great score comes to write against your name, he marks not that you won or lost, but how you... How you looked in your uniform. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I can finish that one off. Just start it again. All right. The great score comes to write against your name, he marks not that you won or lost, but how you did something. What? How you played the game. I agree with that. All righty. You have the X, and I'm going to explain something here. The cubicle open. Is with Carl Reiner. If you are correct on this, Allison, you will have won the game. Incorrect, X will get the square. Carl, up to you. In an Italian drugstore, what would you get if you asked for something called pasta dentofriccia? E poi non fai capire, non fai sapere niente per 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 capire, non fai sapere niente You would get spaghetti, pa uh, pasta, what? Dentofriccia? Dentofriccia. No, dent, D-E-N-T-I-F-R-I-C-I-A. Uh, uh, well done pasta, uh, not too well done, hard pasta, hard spaghetti. Allison? I'll have to agree. No, this is a drugstore. Remember, you did not listen carefully. And I don't think you'd get hard pasta. Oh, you probably would. No, we're looking for toothpaste. Uh, Tooth toothpaste. Oh, 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 X gets the square. And you've won the game, C.J. Oh, Kelly. Congratulations. Oh, oh, oh. We're playing the second game, and this secret square was $2,500. Kenny? And X starts his secret square for Crumb Crash Unique Mandalay Dining Set. Genuine cane, mahogany, and polished chrome, glass, tabletop, crisscross frame, chairs with hand-carved wooden armrests. The Mandalay Dinette furnished by Crumb Craft Plus. And Sue's raw honey right from the hive, a sweet treat with nothing added or taken away. And Sue's raw honey packed by Sue B. And Leonard Silver Silver Set. Oval domed warmer, champagne bucket with stand, gold line, bun warmer, three piece coffee set, and candelabras furnished by Leonard Silver Manufacturing Company. Also, the Maytag food waste disposer gobbles up string vegetables, melon rice, corn husk, even steak bone, tougher than nails from Maytag, the dependability people. Plus, a 25 inch color television set furnished by True Value Hardware Stores to combine value and personal service. Let's show the home audience to Secret Square. It's CJ for the star. Doc Severson, please. All right. You are a boy rhinoceros. Is your horn longer than your sweetheart's? Please, Peter. I mean, really? Uh, well, yes, uh, because uh, female rhinoceroses don't have a horn. I disagree. You disagree? 
In the rhinoceros family, the female has the longer horn. How about them apples? Good for you, CJ. Put an X there. Allison? Phyllis Diller. Phyllis, do most college girls, college girls, kiss on the first date? What year? <laughs> you mean now? But they have a date. Do most college girls kiss on the first yes. date? Yes. I agree. Nope, only 32%, according to a recent survey. Put another Rex there. CJ? I would like Milton Girl, please. All righty. Milton, incidentally, opens this week on Broadway, starring in The Best of Everybody at the Anta Theater. And good luck with the show, Thank you very much, Milton Peter. Girl. I mean that. Thank you. Does Hank Aaron say that anything ever gave him a bigger thrill than breaking Babe Ruth's home run record? Yeah, he broke Lola Falana's record. <laughs> uh, question again, please. Uh, does Hank Aaron say that anything ever gave him a bigger thrill than breaking Babe Ruth's home run record? Yes or no? Yes. I'll agree. Hitting his last home run before leaving the Atlanta Braves, as an example. Yes. For the next. Allison, your turn. Glenn Ford. And that's the secret square here, Allison. Now, good luck on this, dear. Thank you. Take your time, by the way, in answering. I mean that sincerely. Mm. Glenn, up to you. It's a multiple choice, as mm. always. In the same year Marlon Brando was up for an Academy Award for Streetcar Named Desire, Humphrey Bogart was nominated for African Queen, and Montgomery Clift for A Place in the Sun. Who won? Uh, Bogey, uh, Humphrey. Humphrey Bogart, uh, Humphrey Bogart for Bogart, African yes. Queen. No, uh, uh, wait a minute. Uh, just a second. I'll Repeat try it again. That, please. The same year Marlon Brando was up for an Academy Award for Streetcar, uh, Humphrey Bogart was up for uh, African Queen and Montgomery Cliff for A Place of the Sun. Who won? I still say Bogart. Bogart. I disagree. Yeah, he sure did. Oh, he did? Yeah, he won that year. And, uh, marvelous. Boy, well, they were all marvelous performances, but Bogey won. And, yeah. uh, you did not win the second you, secret square. Uh, we have Peter, another one. Yes, you know sir. who gives the greatest performance on this show, really? Who's that? It's Kenny, the, the announcer. Kenny Williams, yeah. yes. He's, he's nominated for our Emmy. <laughs> he's marvelous. <laughs> to watch him is something. Back to a Glenn Ford. Uh, well, uh, no, it's up to you, see. Glenn right? Ford, please. All righty. You could uh, win $500 on this. It is a matter of record, Glenn, that mm -hmm. one of our presidents occasionally slept with his pet dog or dogs. Who was it? Um, oh, dear. Uh, uh, Lyndon Johnson. Lyndon Johnson. I disagree. Yeah, remember those beagles that he uh, loved so very, very I much? Put a circle there. Okay, Allison, your turn. Uh, go to Julie Harris. I would have gone to Carl Reiner to block. This may work oh. out. You never know. If you had something made by Jackson Pollock, Julie, Jackson Pollock, what would you probably do with it? It would be hanging on the wall. Allison? I agree. Sure. It's a piece of art. Uh, yeah, very famous painter with all the splashes I remember. Very good, Julie. We have a circle in the commercial for you folks. Like uh, Carl Reiner, please. For $500, Carl. According to legend, Noah's Ark sprang a leak during its voyage, and one of the animals plugged it. Which animal? The elephant. The elephant. I disagree. No, it was a dog. That's why dogs' noses are always cool and damp, and that's why a lady is a tramp. Yeah, okay, we have $500 for C.J. Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> you get silly after a while. We have another Secret Square game, Kenny. And this time, Circle starts the Secret Square. We'll jet you from Los Angeles to Las Vegas, where you'll stay at the Stardust Hotel on the Strip, home of the leader of the Paris. Relax by one of the two pools, play tennis, dine in elegance, and much more, all furnished by the Stardust Hotel. Plus, soft, chewy, delicious Twizzlers in a variety of flavors, strawberry, licorice, chocolate, and grape. Twizzlers, a family favorite anytime. And Honeywell's popular Pentax Spotmatic 35mm camera, electronic flash that varies its light automatically for proper exposures, furnished by Honeywell. Also, Zodiac's $1,000 collection of SST astrographic Self-winding watches, hours and minutes marked by two floating satellites, orbiting dot counts of seconds, water and shock resistant with automatic calendar furnished by Zodiac watches, and a $1,000 Spiegel catalog gift certificate. More than 500 pages, new twice a year with over 50,000 quality items, providing value selection and economy. Spiegel. Let's show the home audience to Secret Square and Allison for the star. Doc Evanson. And that's it. Now, Allison... You chose every secret square this evening. You missed the first two. Would you please get this one? All right, listen carefully, Doc. What's the title of Lydia Child's famous poem which begins, Over the river and through the wood to grandfather's house we go? Mm. Is it over the river and through the woods? Thanksgiving Day or on a snowy evening? 
I don't like any one of the three. <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. Well, it's one of the three. Uh, run them by me once. All right. Is it over the river and through the wood, Thanksgiving Day, or on a snowy evening? I think the first. You say over the river and through the wood. I disagree. Good for you. It's Thanksgiving Day. You won one. All right, Allison. Right. One out of three is not bad. Well, hold on just a second, uh, CG. I just want to tell Allison what she's won. She's won that Las Vegas vacation. That's dynamite, by the way. Uh, the, the watches are worth about $1,000. You have a camera and a $1,000 gift certificate. You can shop and go wild. All right, now, CG, pick a stop. Julie Harris, please. All righty. Julie, of all of Michelangelo's many achievements, one of them was by far the most admired by his own contemporaries. What was it? By his own contemporaries? Mm -hmm. Admired the most by his own contemporaries. The frescoes on the Sistine Chapel. CJ? I disagree. That's exactly it. Julie Harris, a brilliant actress and extremely bright, by the way. Yes, we have a, a circle there. Allison, a break for you. Paul Williams. Paul, what does Mae West refer to when she says, they're all hers? <laughs> they're all hers. What does Mae West refer to? Oh, I thought... I Ready to answer. Would you? <laughs> no, it was Paul Williams. Hey, wait a minute. Lighten up, would you, Paul? I mean, give the little, give the boy singer a break here. Now, I never met Mae West, but if she is watching, tell me in person. I think she's talking about her teeth. Her teeth. I agree. That's right. I worked with her once. I got to do a show at the Masters Club with her. And that was really fun. She's Britt Eklund. Britt, after the age of sixty-five. How often should you have a physical? Oh, every day. Um, <laughs> no, um, every six months. Every six months. I would agree. Absolutely, very good. You're on the board with the X, Allison. Carl Weiner. For two hundred and fifty dollars, Carl, in literature, a doctor named Henry and a man named Hen uh, Edward. Excuse me, a doctor named Henry and a man named Edward had famous last names. What were the names? Edward and Henry had famous last names in literature. You're going to think I'm stupid, but I don't know. All right, I love the question, <laughs> Allison. No, well, he no is one. stupid, yes. No, I, I, this is difficult. It's Jekyll and Hyde. And that's right. Oh. Yes, back to a Carl Reiner question. Oh. You have just purchased the largest prune available in your <laughs> supermarket. I congratulate you for that. But what should you call it? <laughs> Um, you'd probably call it Irving or something because it <laughs> probably is a, what would you call the largest prune? Yeah. That's, I mean, would it, would it be large, extra oh, large, extra, or colossal, super? Or super, or, yeah. or you'd call it extra large. Extra large. I disagree. Extra large. Put an X there. CJ. Phyllis Diller, please. All right, Phyllis, according to studies, do men really honk their horns, the car horns, that is, more than women? Yes or no? Well, you see, I have a car that has no brakes, just mm -hmm. a horn. <laughs> <laughs> but I would say that men honk their yes. horns more I, often. I agree. Yes, it is. Put an X there. Allison, quick. Call in. Oh, that's why I was rushing everybody through. This, by the way, would be worth $50 to Allison and a total of $200 in cash. That is buzzer, meaning time is up, but you did uh, choose a star. We can't finish the question. We all know, Paul, about the destruction caused by forest fires. But does anything good ever come out of a forest fire? Ever had roast venison? <laughs> conservationists out there just fell right off their chairs. And we have a retired fire captain here. But oh. does anything good ever come out of a forest fire? Anything good come out of a forest fire? Yes or no? Boy, uh, 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 uh it's such a ridiculous question. I, obviously the answer is no, but probably the answer is yes. So? Uh, everything good come out of a forest fire. I can't believe it. I will say, no. I disagree. They often destroy harmful insects. Uh, oh, ex, well, uh, how fire ridiculous. ridiculous. That's fine. That's a fact. Put a circle there. <laughs> now we're going to add up the score. gorgeous trees. 
Allison, my dear, you won a secret square worth over $3,000, and you have four circles up there for a total of $200, and we have beautiful party gifts, that gorgeous jewel, uh, the Hollywood Squares Thank gold you. jewel. Thank, Thank you, you so much. And CJ, how's it going, guy? Unreal. Unreal, $650 in cash. Our retired fire captains won the big one. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It's Dodson V210 with extras like car front disc brakes, tinted glass bucket seats, nylon carpeting, all vinyl upholstery, white side wall tires, and full wheel covers. Economical V210 furnished by Dodson. Time is up for this week. I'd like to thank our stars, Julie Harris, Glenn Ford, Starr, and the family Holdback. And uh, we are out of time. I'll say good night. Join us for more fun next time on the Hollywood Squares. Bye bye. A Jackson Pollock painting once sold for $10.5 million. A Picasso self-portrait was bought for over $43 million. A Japanese businessman paid $82.5 million for a Van Gogh. Tim drew this and won five grand. It pays to be an artist. Win, lose, or draw weekdays at 11.30 a.m. Eastern only on Game Show Network. This has been a Merrill Heater Bob Quigley production.